Hi everyone, welcome to Just Begin, where we talk about starting a business or if we should start a business, especially while, while working a full-time job. And tonight I wanna to talk about having a positive mindset. Having a positive mindset can change your life, okay? So I know a lot of people that are watching this channel are either thinking about quitting their job to start a business or they have just started a business and they're like in their beginning stages. So I just wanna talk about if you're still in your job and you're unhappy, um, focus on the positive things, okay? This will help you have a positive mindset. Just focus on the fact that, the, that you're there to earn a paycheck so you can pay your bills and take care of your children. You know what I mean? And then also um, talk to the people that are more positive. OK, because I know at every job, sometimes we're surrounded by people that are kind of negative and they want to complain. Try to stay away from those people because that will definitely uh, kind of rub off on you and you don't want that to impact you. And and it can really impact the way that you view things at work. So I would really just advise, advise you to just stay away from those people. And then also um, maybe talk to your supervisor and see maybe if you can have a different assignment or if you can work in a different area. And I know that that sounds kind of simple, those things that um, I suggested, but sometimes doing those things can just make your work environment more tolerable um, for the time, for the short time that you're there until you are able to start your business and transition and, and, and leave the job. And that brings me to my next point. Uh, you should definitely, now this is if you really uh, cannot tolerate your job and you do not want to be there, you should be creating a plan to leave your job. And what that plan should include, and this is just how I view it, it should definitely, definitely include a timeline. So if you're working a job that you really don't like and you plan to leave in the next two or three months, you know, just make a timeline and uh, try to stick to that timeline, okay? And while you're uh, sticking to your timeline, it's important to know exactly how much money uh, you need to save um, in order to pay your bills for the next three months. Because whether you're going to be starting a business or whether you're going to be searching for a new job, um, you need to have at least three months um, in savings. I think that should be a sufficient amount of time for you to uh, set up something new and start uh, making some income so you can provide for you and your family. And of course, when you make that budget, you know, things that you can, uh, that are kind of frivolous, that you can take out of your budget, maybe things like going out to eat and going clothes shopping, maybe those can kind of be taken off the list because um, it may be too expensive for you to include those types of luxuries. You may just wanna look at things as like your household bills and credit card payments. Um, maybe just try to include that in your monthly bills and all the extra stuff you may want to um, cut out. And I know that can be difficult, but it's important because you want to be um, in a situation that makes you happy. You don't want to be negative and sometimes uh, feeling like you're trapped in a job that you don't want to work, um, it, it will make you negative, you know, and we talked about having a positive mindset, you know, that impacts your whole life. You know what I mean? You want to be happy and you want to plan and you don't want to feel stuck in this job. So if you have to give up things like eating out and going clothes shopping, it is so, so worth it. And some of the things that you also want to think about besides having three months work of, worth of savings in your savings account as you prepare this exit plan to leave your job, uh, you also want to look into health insurance, okay? And this is an important topic because if you are getting um, very cheap or affordable, um, health insurance through your job. Now, if you're now leaving that job, 
a lot of times you can't still uh, purchase the health insurance uh, for the same price if you're not an employee at that job. And you don't want that to be something that um, you have to deal with unexpectedly. So you definitely want to do some shopping around uh, as far as health insurance plans and you will be paying for that uh, you know, uh, independently, it won't be through a company. So you want to do some shopping around and check the prices and make sure that you have a health insurance option, uh, after you leave your job. That's very, very important. You want to stay healthy, whether you're uh, working a job or whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you're thinking about starting a business, you always want to make sure that you don't have a lapse in healthcare. That's very important. And I know that this, um, you know, may uh, affect some people. If you have a pre-existing condition or if you have a child or children with pre-existing conditions, uh, this is a step that you really cannot skip. Make sure that you have health insurance. Um, that may be one of the reasons why uh, if you can't find affordable health insurance, but through your job you have affordable health insurance and either you have a medical condition that requires you to have health insurance or if your child has a medical condition, that may be something that um, may keep you at your job a little bit longer. It's so important to make sure that you take care of that aspect of your plan with leaving your job. Also, uh, while we're trying to keep this positive mindset, as we create a plan to leave um, our job, it's so important to find um, support, okay? And a lot of times you can find support in Facebook groups, okay? So you may find some Facebook groups uh, that talk about um, quitting your job and starting a business. This way you are surrounded by positive, like-minded people and you don't feel like you are the only person um, that is trying to leave their job that they are not happy with and um, start a business and creating a plan so you can exit your job. As you do that, I know sometimes it gets kind of scary for people and I know sometimes um, you may get kind of negative about it because you, you start to get anxious. So surround yourself with people that um, are going through the same situation or have gone through it and they can give you some positive um, reinforcements you can have some positive conversations. They can give you some advice about what they did and how they succeeded with leaving the job that they were no longer happy at and you know how they came out on the other side and they're perfectly fine. You know, and that should be very uh, helpful for you as you go through this, um, you know, I'm not going to say difficult time, but I will say that it may be a different time, you know, and you want to make sure that you keep that positive mindset as you navigate through all these different things. So I think joining a Facebook group and being around like minded people and uh, that should help you out some. And as you're doing these things, um, I would highly advise you to um, not share your plans with um, friends and family members that are not supportive of you, okay? So you've already made up your mind um, to leave you know, your job that you are not happy with. So it's just so important to talk to people that encourage you, uh, that support you, and that will not um, criticize your decision or tell you that it's a bad idea um, because you don't want their negative words to affect your decision and you want to be um, positive as you plan to leave your job. You don't want to, you know, have a negative mindset and maybe have that affect your decision or the outcome. OK, and I just want to give you some words of encouragement. You will be OK. People leave jobs that they are not happy with all the time um, and it's very possible for you to do it as well you will be okay. Surround yourself with like-minded people that are um, positive and upbeat and everything will kind of come together. And that's why I really, really, really like recording my weekly videos because I talk to people all the times, whether it's friends, family, whether it's a uh, client, and they're really trying to figure out um, how to exit their job that they are not happy with. Um, and you know, tomorrow is not promised. So it's so important to do the things um, that you actually like to do. You know, I do not uh, recommend staying at a job that you really don't like. 
uh, <clears throat> for a long period of time, it's just not worth it. Your uh, happiness um, and the happiness of everybody around you is more important than you staying um, at a job that you do not enjoy, okay? So I just want to always remind you all that I have a Facebook group called Just Boss Up, and it is for business owners, and it is for future business owners, and you are more than welcome to join the group. I am active in the group every day, and I would love to talk to you. I would love to have you in the group, okay? Everybody have a good night.